What's going on guys? Johnny Mac here and today we're bringing you another scavengers video and we're going to be talking about how to unlock your research tiers quicker and to be totally honest I don't know how I didn't figure this out sooner. Let's get into it. All right, so let's get on into this. So I don't want to make this any longer than it absolutely has to be. Uh, in my previous video on how to increase your power quickly, I'll actually have a link to that video in the description below. I explained that, you know, you could research these different projects and they would unlock the various tiers and also by leveling your other characters. Every time you level one, you get increased XP. However, that only addresses the issue of your power. What I didn't address in that time is how to efficiently increase your research tiers. And to be totally honest, it eluded me on how to efficiently do this up until last night. I had a little bit of an epiphany because I have tier three unlocked, as you can see, and I want tier four. And then I happened to look, I was like, wait a second. In order to unlock tier five, you have to have 40 research projects completed. Well, how do you go about doing this whenever there's not 40 weapons or anything like that? to craft, or sorry, research. Well, it's a very simple answer and I'll show you. So if we go back to our research tab, the answer is components. Each one of these components counts as a research project. So the most efficient way to get credit for your research projects is to craft simple components in order to receive credit. It's as simple as that, guys. Not a huge mystery, and exactly why I did not figure this out sooner, I have no idea. Beats me. I highly recommend Bionic Augmentations if you can, due to the fact that you can use those in order to research your Explorer talents. But it's not exactly the most efficient because they do require a lot of materials. Braided cords, ceramics, anything that requires very little materials is going to be very efficient. For the tier twos, I'd say enamel coatings are very efficient because they require very little glass and only requires two pieces of glass. This is a good way to get credit. Your fiber composites are a good way to get credit. Anything that just has simple material requirements. Now, in no way am I saying that you just need to research 40 of these or anything like that. Because if you go up here to your tier requirements, every single time you unlock a tier, they have a recipe requirement that you have to meet in order to fully unlock that tier. So for me to fully unlock tier four, I have to have three steel, two multiple polymers, seven explosives, which by the way is pretty steep as far as materials goes, one semiconductor, and five resins. So I highly recommend that as you unlock your tiers, you look at the next tier and what the requirements are in order to unlock it and start crafting those materials that you can early. That way, Whenever you actually do get your full credit for things to be unlocked, then you already have the recipe done and it's waiting for you. And all you have to do is just research it. And that's it guys. It's as simple as that. Nothing super complicated. Why on earth I didn't think of that before? I have no idea. It's not entirely self-evident if you're new to the game. That much is for sure. And that's why I'm putting out these videos to help you new players to get better established and get a grasp on the game a lot quicker. So as an added bonus, I'm going to show the requirements for each research tier. So that way you can have a little bit of an easier time knowing ahead of time what you need to unlock these research tiers. This is tier one, tier two, tier three, and tier four. I don't have tier five unlocked right now, but as soon as I'm able to post those requirements, I will be sure to do so. So I hope that you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to my channel. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to tick that notification bell so that way you get notified of future videos that I make just like this one. And also be sure to check that description below. I'll have links to all my social media accounts, including my Discord and my Twitter. If you guys just want to get in there and hang out, we have a lot of cool people in there. And, or if you just want to have a couple matches, that'd be fantastic too. So be sure to check those links out below. And as always, guys, thanks for watching and safe exploring.